Welcome to the Mouse Breeding Lab for Biology. As I go through this lab, please have your worksheet out and ready to complete it. In class, we demonstrated a lab for using mice with black fur and white fur. As you can see, we have the black fur mice right here and the white furred mice right there. Let's do number one. Number one tells us to put two black mice and breed them. As we bred them several times, look to see what our offspring look like. Write down your answer on number one. What do all these offspring look like? What color is their fur? The color that you can physically see is called phenotype. Physical phenotype. Now let's do number two. For number two, we took two white furred mice, bred them several times, and now look at the color of the offspring. Write down what color you see on number two. For number three, there's no true right or wrong answer. Just think about it and think, do you think mouse offspring will always look like their parents? And make sure to explain. Now let's look at activity A, number one. Predict what do you think the offspring of a black mouse and a white mouse will look like. So if we grab a black mouse and a white mouse, write down what you think the offspring will look like. Now let's observe what happens. We bred the black mouse and the white mouse several times, and every time we got this type of offspring. Write that down on number two. What colored fur is the offspring? And this is for every time we bred the white mouse and the black furred mouse. Now for number three, we took one of those offspring, put it in our holding cage down here, cleared the boxes and then put those two offspring up here. We put them up here to breed them and when we bred them this was our result. Write that result down on number three. What do you see? What color fur mice do you see? For number four we did it in class and experimented with a hundred offspring. These, these were our numbers. 73 black and 27 white. Now let's take a look at number five. So number five A says, which parent combinations yield only white offspring? I gave you that answer. You're welcome. So if we have a white furred mom and a white furred dad, we will only get white furred offspring. But take a look at number five B. I guided you for that one. So which parent combination will yield only black furred offspring? Now remember what we did in the lab to only get black furred offspring. And C is which parent combination will yield a mixture of white and black? Now remember back to when we did the holding cage and which one yielded black and white offspring. Here's a little clue. Take a look at the picture. Now for number six, it says, use your own observations to come up with your own explanation of how a trait such as fur color is passed down from parent to offspring. So just write down what you think What you think is happening when mice get black fur, white fur, or both black and white fur in their offspring. Activity B, this part we did in class together, and this is what we got. We used the letter F to represent the genotype. Remember, a genotype is the gene or the letters, the alleles. Phenotype is what we physically see. So, in this example, 
on number 1A, the genotype for a Blackford parent is big F, big F. For a Whiteford parent is little f, little f. Those are our genes, thus the genotype. If we are to ask you the phenotype, you tell us what you can physically see with your eyes. So you can either physically see black fur or white fur. If we ask you for the genotype, that you cannot see. That is the genetic code. In other words, the genes, the letters. Now let's look at these two other words, homozygous and heterozygous. Homozygous means both of the alleles are the same. They're either both capital letters or lowercase letters. Heterozygous means different. So the letters are either, there's only one capital or one lowercase. Another name for that would be hybrid. Again, homozygous the same. So they're both either capital or lowercase. And heterozygous, the letters are different. One is capital and one is lower. The dominant letter is called the dominant allele. That one is the capital letter. The recessive letter is the lowercase letter. The recessive allele does not show. The only time the recessive allele will show is if they're if they are both lowercase letters, like little f, little f, will yield a white furred mouse. Let's look at 2a. Which allele is dominant and which fur color does it produce? Hmm, I kind of already told you. And also for number 2b. And then go ahead and take a minute to answer number 3a, b, and c. Number 4, we did it in class. It was yes and you provide the explanation. Okay, now let's take a look at activity C and do a Punnett square. This square on the right hand side is called a Punnett square. The very first thing we do is bring down this F into each box below. Same on the other side. And then we would bring this little F across into each box. And the finished Punnett square would look like this. Number 1A is pretty obvious. It says, what are the genotypes of all the offspring? Hmm, kind of gave it to you there. You're welcome. Now you tell me the percentages for number 1, B, and C. We did number 2 in class, and we said yes. Now that we covered how to do a Punnett square, go ahead and try number 3 and provide the percentages below. You put one parent on the side and the other on top and fill in your squares. We did number four in class and the answers are provided for you below. Now it's your turn to do number five on your own. And the very last part of your lab is your CER, Claim Evidence Reasoning. We guided you through most of it and all you have to do is fill in the answers. So look at the evidence one. It says when a blank is bred with a blank, the result offspring is blank. So you can choose either when a black furred mice, white furred mice, and so on and so forth. And then make sure to describe your offspring results. Now for the reasoning part, you have to explain the offspring mice. So whatever you picked for the evidence, you would explain that in the reasoning. So the either black and white mice offspring or only black offspring or only white offspring are examples of heredity in action because you can say several things here. Um, dominant recessive traits are passed down, only shown, so on and so forth. Number two, what do you think most traits are inherited the way mouse fur color is? Why do you think this is? And that covers your mouse genetics lab. If you have any further questions, please see us after class or shoot us an email. We will get back to you promptly.